subi ontem à Montanha Blanca. Lembro-me de haver pensado enquanto subia. Se caio e aqui me mato, acabou-se. Não farei mais livros. Good afternoon um, and welcome uh, to this small tribute to José Saramago, uh, the Portuguese writer uh, that won the uh, Nobel Prize in 1998. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the Pacific Film Archive uh, and uh, film curator Kathy Garrett in particular uh, for um, organizing the screening, as well as the Camões Institute in Portugal. Um, I'm just going to um, say some brief words about the movie and about Saramago. Uh, this tribute has to do with the fact that uh, uh, Saramago uh, died uh, in 2010, 18 June. Miguel Gonçalves Mendes' uh, documentary uh, is a poetic and moving um, document where public and private life intersect. Uh, it is a surprising movie. Um, allowing us to enter the life of a writer that has often been, uh, been seen by the public as reserved, circumspect, and pessimistic. Uh, and just a personal note, I, um, as a reader of Saramago, uh, in the early 90s, um, I was uh, younger, and uh, I had just read uh, one of his books when I had the opportunity to meet him. Uh, and uh, so this uh, uh, image of Saramago as someone who's very uh, circumspect and pessimistic, actually it's very different from the one that I got. At the time, he had not uh, won the Nobel Prize yet, so he was not as known. He was recognized <coughs> as, a, a, as a, a one of the best Portuguese writers, but he was not known by the public in general. Uh, so. Uh, I, at the uh, Lisbon uh, Book Fair, I um, purchased, I bought one of his books and realized that he was there. Um, and there was no line asking for autographs. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the opportunity to get an autograph. Uh, I was too shy to, to start to engage in a, a long conversation, uh, but the impression that uh, I got was that he was a very friendly person and definitely someone who wanted to, um, uh, who enjoyed the, the uh, talking with uh, his readers. Um, and, uh, uh, but this movie uh, definitely shows us um, Saramago that we didn't know before. Um, it's uh, a work of, um, uh, of four years four years uh, that the director spent with uh, Saramago uh, and his wife, Pilar. Um, and at the beginning, uh, he uh, um, asked José Saramago uh, authorization for uh, doing um, this documentary, uh, saying that it was a documentary uh, on the work. And that was the initial idea. Uh, it would be about <coughs> the work of José Saramago and how much had changed in his life. Uh, after he won the Nobel Prize. But with time, he, uh, end up, he ended up accompanying Saramago and Pilar uh, in their constant travels, uh, their uh, professional commitment, uh, and also at home, um, and uh, ends up focusing on uh, this relationship. Uh, and what we can see is that certainly this relationship uh, between Saramago and Pilar, as well as the relationship between <coughs> Saramago and his uh, desire to write, are something that are going to, um, uh, are two forces of life uh, that will help him to get the uh, extra time that he mentions in the movie, uh, the extra time that he wants, uh, that he um, asks for. You will uh, hear Portuguese and Spanish, and sometimes in the same sentence, um, but they are two different 
language, as you know. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is we often uh, refer the Portuguese writer and his Spanish wife. Um, and uh, uh, maybe one of the reasons uh, to, to refer her nationality, although in the meantime she also became a Portuguese citizen, uh, is the fact that uh, in the early 90s, uh, one of his books, uh, one of his novels, uh, The Gospel According uh, to Jesus Christ, uh, was excluded from a shortlist for a European literary prize. Um, by um, a politician, a uh, member of the government. Uh, and the reason that was evoked at the time was that the book was not, according, uh, uh, was not in accordance with the values uh, of um, the majority of the Portuguese people. Uh, and because of that, Saramago um, considered that it was an act of censorship uh, is someone that, besides uh, being a writer, always um, uh, always um, wanted to have an active participation in life, in, uh, in public life, uh, and um, um, commenting in several uh, different uh, political uh, matters. Um, and that's when uh, he decides to move to uh, Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. Uh, and that's where we are going to find him, uh, because this movies about the later years of Saramago, years that have been um, extremely important and that show us that um, many things can be achieved later in life. Um, so see you uh, on the other side, I would say, to José Saramago. And to you, thank you very much for coming in this beautiful day. Uh, I'm, I, uh, really, I hope that you enjoy the movie. I think it's, uh, it's very enjoyable. Thank you. <laughs>